<clears throat> All right. Um, we have Hatsume. We've got Hatsume um, coming in. Uh, this is for Zerk. Thanks for the support over on Patreon and on Twitch here. Um, he, he is in chat, though. Not able to, to, to talk on the cam, but we've got a... We've got some... We got some deck doctrine. He said, the basic goal is a solid defense to get into the late game, then stun as much as possible down, and then throw a massive cannon blast for a kill. Maybe being a five-hander, it's heavily reliant on drawing off of those box full of babies. So, let's talk about the easy stuff, right? Let's look at our stun. Four back alley, four capture, four net gun. Makes total sense to me. Four quick create, four box full of babies. Makes total sense to me. Electromagnetic stun. Dump and wire arrow are kind of where you lose me. Kind of where you lose me. I think wire arrow being able to replace itself with excited for blood is neat. I am a well-known electromagnetic stomp hater. I don't like this card very much. I don't like this card very much, but it does say the word stun, and so we're gonna we're gonna take it. We're gonna look at the options that we have. Right, um, life attack. Let's go with the weapon keyword and the tech keyword. We've got stomp, wire arrow, knife slice. Ooh, I like, oh, I like knife slice. I like knife slice a lot. Home run comet is neat. Naval laser charge. Yeah, instead of electromagnetic stomp, I actually just want it to be instant shining flash, and that's the change that I'm going to make. This is my deck now, punk. All right, instantly fixed. Boom, instant shining flash. I think momentum is so killer. It's so important uh, in these games. Uh, I think you have to have have to have to have to have it. Um, I think it's I think it's incredibly incredibly important. And then the other thing that I want to add, um, which you have in your sideboard, um, is I think that this is the technology for life uh, for these for these life good stuff decks. I think knife slice is a nuts card. It's a five low for five. It only gets bigger in Hatsume. It burns then heals. It's got a stunning deadlock ability that just says like you eventually win the game and you can make it massive with your box full of babies. Um, like I want to play this card at like, I want to play this at a two of my main board and I want to take out two of these naval laser beams and sideboard them if I feel I need them. I want to kill people. I want to kill people. And Nice Slice being such a stunning, uh, uh, offense offensive tool to do so is like amazing right we are playing a 60 card deck because the four box full of babies gets removed with hatsume um 60 cards of 20 attacks i actually want to get make that number a little cleaner i think um so now let's take into look uh this number is too low we need 16 of them bad boys yes we're playing triple face shield and triple wall cling but I think it's important to have the correct number of cards. So sacrifice it of three of is great. Faith Shield is cool. But man, I think Faith Shield is so dead in a five-hander's hand. It's a two of. It's a two of. Um, this is good. This is difficulty. Uh, yeah, these are fine. I probably want to take floating and put it at a one of. And take... I guess we don't get to really play tight lip because of our character, right? Character is just a better version of tight lipped. It's interesting. Uh, I like preparing for battle. I think preparing for battle is neato. High value target. I think that the big thing that we're missing here, and we're trying to get our deck count down so that our 20 attacks are a little more relevant, is probably, I think we're missing, we can either take rescue completed and toss it up to a third, right? We can take high value target and put it down to a two. Right, and then I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna add in uh, home. I mean, I talked about it in the last video, and we're gonna, you're gonna hear me talk about it right now. Oh, I don't get to, I get to take off the words weapon and tech. I'm gonna talk about it right now, and that card is observant student. I think observant student is crazy in your deck. Oh, I'm excited for blood. Observant student is nuts. This card cheats. It's a one low block that you look at the top card of your deck. In addition to that. In Deadlock, when you face shield and you clear your Observant Student, you get to go pick up 
your cannon blast. You get to go pick up your instant shiny flash. You get to go pick up your neighbor laser beam. You get to go pick up your neck gun surprise. Um, when they're in deadlock and you and you block with your face shield, this this card's this card's active in life. Um, we have increased a card, but we, so we got to get rid of a card. All right, rescue completed went up by one. Observance went up by one, and so we got to bring a card down, either a mid or a high. Realize that our our highs are the cards that we have the most of. We probably probably could take verse villain encounter and put it down to a one of yeah. Put the other on the sideboard if we absolutely need it. I know release at a four was like insane. Excited for blood. I think excited for blood is needed in this deck. I think it forces them to uh to like deal with what's going on. Um. And it says early. I get I, th those are extra copies of box full of babies early. If I get a poke off, I think being able to play excited for blood into create capture net. Uh, is like one of the sickest plays that you can do inside the life decks. It's actually probably, man, I, I, I don't want to cut it, but I think it's actually preparing for battle. If I had to cut a card. Oh, we're, we're 64 again? Um. Yeah. This is probably where I would start. I think the big changes that we made here were Knife Slice and Observant Student. Observant Student being able to look at the top card of my deck and know if I'm allowed to go in and push and hit these big long strings or is important. Rescue Completed saying that I actually have real defense. Like Rescue Completed in conjunction with Release is just not fair, right? Minus four speed on everything for the low, low sacrifice of one ready foundation is nuts. If there was a, if there was a card that said destroy a foundation, uh, destroy ready foundation for minus four speed. People, people would play it. And I think first villain encounter is amazing, but I think that um, we could probably just sideboard the other one, right? Like your sideboarding more stomps, just side more, more, more nice slices, and it's going to be more relevant. Also, you're going to want to sideboard uh, uh, Mama or Toga. I think Mama or Toga play the deck exceptionally well, right? Like, like we've just seen the results. Right. There's no reason not to clown car with all those with all those characters. Yeah. I dig it. I dig it. Yeah, I think I think this is a this is what I would do with your hot deck. I mean, you brought me like a really really tight list, and I just get to like like mess around with stuff a little bit. Um, I think Toga just loses so hard at the moment. It's interesting. I think I think it's just like. I think all three of those characters just have like really distinct matchups, right? Where like like some of them are good, some of them are bad. Um, like playing this exact list, it's interesting. It's actually what makes the characters like fair and balanced. Is like like this wife package is like incredible, but like the characters, the characters have like hard matchups, right? It's interesting. Interesting. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this.